I've recently moved into an apartment building next to an Arby's. Nice. I love to eat at Arby's. That's the end of the question. Weird. <laughs> Wait, uh, this no. is written from everyone. Uh, yeah, I love to eat at Arby's, but because of everything going on, um, they don't allow walk-ins. And you can't walk up to a drive through and order. However, last month, I saw someone bike through the drive through no problem. I don't have a bike, but and I don't want to drive my car through the busy road in front of both businesses just for a craving. What's the smallest mode of transportation you think they will allow? That's from Meat Seeking Missile in Michigan. Okay, this is actually finally one we can really sink our teeth in. Yeah, until I read this question, it had not occurred to me like how silly one would feel if they lived next to like directly next to a drive through Are you going to get into your car, pull out of your parking space, drive around, drive yeah. farther than you would walk, and then like go back and park in view of the drive through window and say like, thanks again, Doug, as you go into what your house? What about like door dashing it? And just like, as they're leaving the drive through just like yell out your window like, hey, chuck it up. I'll meet you halfway. Chuck it up. I got a, <laughs> hey, listen, I made a little rascal style basket on a rope. <laughs> Chuck it up. Why couldn't you have do- to you have to twist those pedals around to raise it up? It's a pulley system. We've been taught it feels first of all, it feels like we've been talking about nothing but fast food for the last four episodes in a row. Yeah. And that's yeah. a weird confluence of events. But there's no Arby's law. Do you know what I'm like? There's Arby's best practices. Like when you start a, a open Arby's franchise, you probably are sent a binder. And that binder is like, here's good ways to do Arby's and please do them this way so that there's some Arby's consistency. I can pretty much guarantee you, though, the people working at this Arby's would be willing to work out some sort of walkthrough arrangement there, with you. There has neighbor. to be some Arby's law, Griffin. You can't just say blanket statement that everything in Arby's is a suggestion. No, it's not a suggestion. Like, there's, again, there's best practices, but I'm saying if you work at, I had I had uh, clients, as I referred to them at the TCBY, who I would <laughs> I would mix uh, some some of the scoopable ice cream into the milkshakes when you were supposed to just use the soft serve, or I would blend soft serve and scoopable ice cream in one, which like you're probably not supposed to do, and mm-hmm. I probably cost TCBY hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, but that's my, those are my clients. Those are my people. Like, who am I without my clients? But, but Griffin, you can't assume that every fast food employee is a free thinker like you are, right? Yeah. So like the risk is, is that you walk up and you're like, it's cool. I had an arrangement with Jerry and they're like, yeah. Jerry's not here today. I'm Diane and I follow the rules. And now you're just out, you're out a sandwich. You got to find the Patch Adams of that Arby's who doesn't play by the rules, mm. but respects the client mm-hmm. and loves the client and the client's never wrong. You know, I had a, fr- um, a friend, Jason Daniel Eldridge, used to work at Arby's. And do you know that, know when that. You, yeah, when you work at Arby's, you know there's like a huge loaf of meat that they're slicing the slices of roast beef, the titular Arby yeah. um, off of. You have to wear a chainmail glove <laughs> when you're doing it. And he awesome. stole one. It's so cool. Chainmail Arby's glove. That's fucking radical. Isn't that radical. You probably f- you probably fight a snake with that. No problem. Yeah. Oh, easy. Not an issue. Especially if it's made of roast beef. Do you hey. think you could get away with Heelys? At Arby? Oh, you mean rolling through? Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, like I'm just gonna gut check this. Okay. Heelys, no. Pogo stick, no. Skateboard? Right? It has to contain you in some it, way. It ha- yeah. Bicycle doesn't contain you. That's true. Bicy- I would s- yeah. Motorcycle, Segway. they wouldn't turn away a motorcycle. Segway is maybe about as far as as I think they would be. A bicycle is honestly the lowest. I think a Razor scooter, Razor maybe? scooter. Razor yeah, scooter. Yeah, maybe a Razor. Uh, what about like a, like a boxcar racer? You know, oh, like maybe. you just finished the big race uh, with your Boy Scout troop and it happens mm. to end the bottom of the hill as an Arby's and you just like oh, coast through the drive-thru. I know. Just run up, wait for a car to be in the drive-thru and when they pull up to the sign, run up and hop into that car no and say, hey, what's up? My name's Tyson. Don't freak, hey, don't freak out. <laughs> hey, put hey. Put your phone down. This hey, can put go. Your, put your phone down. This can go one of two ways. <laughs> this is I'm, a gun, but it's unrelated. <laughs> This could go one of two ways. Either you help me out or I will leave and I will wait for another car and I will see if they're cooler. 
but I'm hungry for roast beef sandwiches.